Hi, this is Ben Bryant of FirstObject.com. Here's an XML file called play.xml. I'll open it up in the First Object XML editor. To see the structure better, let's format it with an indent. You could press F8. You can see the title element is the immediate child of the root play element. I'd like to create an app that extracts the play title and displays it in a message box using C Markup, the C++ XML parser. I'll create an app in Visual C++ 2008 Express, a new project. I'm going to resize this dialog to fit inside of the video window. It's a Win32 project. Give it the name XML example. It's going to create the files for this project inside of the C colon slash XML example folder, which happens to be where I had already put the play.xml file that I just showed you. Here's the project. I have to add C Markup to it, so I'm going to go to the web and download C Markup. Current version is 10.1. The zip file comes with a test project and the main uh, the, the two files that I need are markup.cpp and markup.h. I'm going to copy these over to the application folder XML example. Paste them in there. Now they're in the folder, but I also have to add them into the project. I right click on the project name there in the Solution Explorer, add existing item. I can select in this dialog both the markup.cpp and markup.h files and click add to move it up here. Now the files are in the Solution Explorer as part of the project. There are markup.cp, I'm going to click on the properties. You can't see it in the window, but it's on the right-click menu. Because I'm in Visual C++, which defaults to use pre-compiled headers, I have to turn it off for markup.cpp specifically. The other change I need to make is in the project properties. So I go back into here and instead of clicking on markup.cpp, click on XML example and choose properties again from the right click menu. Go into C, C++, preprocessor definitions. And I want to use STL strings instead of um, MFC C string, which it defaults to. C Markup defaults to use MFC C strings when you're in Visual Studio, but only in Visual Studio. So in Visual Studio, if you want to use STL strings, you have to explicitly specify them there. Here I've included markup.h and go down and I'm going to instantiate a C markup object called XML. And now I need to load the XML file called play.xml. It happens to be in the current folder, otherwise I would specify a full path. 
the MCD underscore T macro is used to make it a wide string because my default project settings are wide strings in Visual C++ 2008. Once, uh, after I've loaded the document, I go to the root element play element. I don't need to specify the tag name because it's the first one. And go inside of it and then find the title element. In this case, I'm going to specify the title tag name. Uh, even though I know that the title happens to be the first element inside of the play element, uh, but so in this case it's optional. Finally, I'm going to extract the title into a string variable. See here I've explicitly um, instantiated a w string variable. And now I'm going to display the title in a message box. To turn a standard string into a constant string pointer, wide string pointer, you can use the C markup um, compiler defend dependent define to PCSZ, or you can just use the standard string method C underscore STR. Two ways of getting a constant string pointer, constant wide string pointer. Now we'll give the message box a title, just call it XML, and give it a OK button. That's all. Now we can compile it. F7. And run it. Control F5 to run without debugging. There we've shown a message box with the information we extracted. Now, to get a better idea of what's going on, let's set a breakpoint and actually um, debug into this and step through what is going on with the C markup object. I'm going to start debugging F5. And see, before I've actually loaded the play XML file, I can look at my XML object and see that there is an empty document string. Now I'm going to step and actually perform the load. You can see now that my document string contains the document that was loaded. See, Marcus is very simple like that. It just has one string containing the document, the text of the document that was loaded. Now look at the main DS member is a debugging member that shows the current position which is empty until I find the play element, the root play element. Okay, I just stepped. Now it points to the play element. It points to that offset within the document string to show you during debugging where you are. Now I'm going to go into the play element now there is no current position. I'm actually before the title element in the document. Now I'm going to find the title element. And the main position now points to the title element. Now I'm going to extract the data from that title element. And that puts the information into the title string. Thank you very much for your time.